It is currently November 30th, 2021. It's about 7.30 a.m. and uh, we got a whole bunch of snow today. Uh, that's fantastic. Uh, <laughs> and just in time for my first real day uh, back at work. Uh, yeah. Uh, this morning I also went for a run for the first time um, on a work day. I've traditionally not gone running. Um, uh, certainly not in the early morning. So I went uh, running at about 5.30 a.m. and uh, did a short run before work. I hope to make this a habit. All right, it is currently a quarter past 4 p.m. and I just finished a massive clinic. So uh, I'm gonna head on home. <laughs> it's currently 6 a.m. December 1st, 2021, and you can see it is pitch black out. It's about one degree Celsius outside, and I am going out for a run. I, uh, I've got this puff jacket, I got a headlight on. I got the double layer tights with the rain shell. Um, I got some running gloves too that I'm not wearing right now, but uh, this held up yesterday. It wasn't too cold. I'm gonna try it again today. It's currently almost 11 a.m. on December 1st, 2021. So uh, here I am back in the office uh, for my second sort of real full day back at work. Uh, so yesterday was my first full day back at work, which meant that Charlotte was uh, alone at home with the baby uh, for a whole day for the first time. And um, I'm happy to say that uh, she survived, the, the baby survived as well. <laughs> Yeah, I personally, I, I wasn't especially worried. I don't know, whenever, uh, when I was at home um, and when I had him, I didn't find him to be that much of a handful. Um, now that said, uh, Charlotte does have the additional sort of responsibility of pumping every few hours, but um, but I mean, I, I, I don't know, I feel like, it, it's still manageable at this point, especially with him being a newborn. He basically just eats, sleeps, and poops. That That's all he does. So yeah. Uh, anyway, I got another massive clinic today. Um, hope it goes well. It is currently about a quarter 11 a.m. on uh, December 2nd, 2021. And uh, I'm here in my office. Uh, I just had a small case earlier this morning um, because my big case uh, got canceled. Uh, so that all went really well. Uh, I'm back in my office uh, just doing some paperwork. Uh, yesterday was another absolutely crazy day at a massive afternoon clinic. And, uh, and then that was followed by a, a sort of a team meeting uh, afterwards. I didn't get home until like Maybe about 6.30, you know, I picked up some dinner along the way. Uh, and then, you know, I quickly scarfed that down. And then there was also a online uh, webinar <laughs> that I attended. So, uh, yeah, I went from like 7 to 8. So, yeah, like basically my day didn't finish uh, until 8 p.m. Um, and, uh, you know, we're doing this thing now where we... Uh, put our baby to sleep for 9 p.m. But we use the hour before 9 to sort of get him ready for bed. Uh, so that was like basically my entire day. <laughs> I, I, you know, I got home, did all that stuff, did the webinar, and then, and then did the baby sleeping ritual. Uh, and then, and then I, I went to bed after. Uh, but I, I don't know, I want to talk a little bit about the ritual because it's been working really well. And, you know, I know 
it's, it's an n of one <laughs> so it, uh, and I know babies are different and so um, uh, you know what works for me may not necessarily work for other people but you know the thing that we've been doing is so for the hour before um, uh, he goes to bed we put him to bed uh, you know, we'll we'll change him, and then we we like try and stimulate him as much as possible. We we do the tummy time thing. Uh, I bounce him and just getting them all riled up <laughs> uh, as much as possible to sort of expend his energy. Um, and uh, you know, he doesn't necessarily like it. He, he certainly will scream and cry, and I think that bothers my wife <laughs> a bit. But um, but you know we, we get him we get him to sort of expel all of his energy and then and then we just feed him as much as he will take <laughs> and put him in his um, in his uh, a sleep sack we just kind of get get him all wrapped up and bundled and cozy but uh, uh, yeah that's a, I think that's been working out real well we've uh, well like. You know, get him really, really tired, and then, and then just feed him to a point where, like, he he just like falls asleep. Like, he can't keep his eyes open. Well, what you want is that, um, you, you want to get him to a point where, like, even you sort of like stimulating him, he, he just like doesn't care. <laughs> He's continuing sleeping through it. Uh, once you get him to that that stage, um, you know, uh, you can put him down. And like I said, uh, we've had great success. Uh, last night he slept almost eight hours. <laughs> that's that's pretty amazing. And um, you know we've had uh, multiple days of him sleeping at least six hours straight. Um, and uh, yeah, so we'll probably continue to do that. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the only thing. Maybe keeping him awake during the daytime is also uh, uh, part of the success. I'm not sure. Um, but I find that spending spending a little bit of time ahead of his bedtime to really, you know, tucker him out uh, really seems to work. Uh, I'd love to make a video at some point actually to uh, just talk about the whole sleeping thing. Because um, most people I talk to are amazed <laughs> at how much he's we were able to get him to sleep. He's, he's three weeks old as of today, and we've gotten him sleeping six to eight hours at a time at night. So I don't know, and and you know we have the snoo, uh, and uh, so that comes as a nap, and and you know it's almost like a sleep tracker. So I'd love to go through uh, the the sort of the the, the sleep. Um, uh, findings in the app. Not that he needed the snoo yesterday. He, we just put him in the regular bassinet and he was still able to sleep almost eight hours. So, um, yeah. All right. It is currently about 7.30 a.m. Uh, December 3rd, 2021. I am here in my office. Uh, I have been up since about 2.30 a.m um which uh which is not great it's not, not been one of my better nights um and uh, you know that's because i had the baby last night now that said um uh, all things all things considered it's actually not terrible because you know i put the baby to sleep at 9 30 and he woke up at like 2 30 which means that he slept for five hours straight you know which as far as babies go um is is not bad honestly uh though that's not that's not great for him because he he has uh slept for longer uh, on many occasions um, you know the, the night prior i think he slept for almost eight hours so not the greatest night for him but you know all things considered not a not not a terrible night and you know part of the problem was also that you know after i got up and changed him and fed him and put him back down uh i just couldn't sleep so 
I ended up just kind of getting up and, and doing uh, some paperwork uh, charts. Um, you know, I've only had one and a half days of clinic so far this week. You know, like already I have such a pile of paperwork that I have to do on my own time that it's, you know, it's ridiculous. Um, like I have 15 charts here that I have to personally do. And uh, there's another 15 charts that the residents have done that I have to, you know, read and sign off on. So these are things that I just have to do <laughs> on my own time at night on weekends. Uh, so yeah, that's, I, so I made a little bit of a dent in that. Uh, this morning while I was awake. Uh, I didn't run. I did think about it. Um, would have been nice to, to go out for a run, but I, I don't know. I I find that when I get up in the middle of the night, like, like 2.30 a.m., uh, my metabolism hasn't quite caught up, and, and so I was cold and I was hungry. Um, so, you know, I ended up uh, grabbing something to eat and uh, you know I don't like running after eating so I don't know I I realize it's a bit of an excuse but I um, I, I didn't run uh, instead I, I, I made the decision to to do charting instead so um, any doodle maybe maybe I'll get to running once I get home uh, after clinic today um, we'll see.